So we're going to demonstrate the running of a train from T, where the signalman and the signalman at A have already agreed the passage of a train. So the signalman wants to send it to, or offer it, because we're polite people, to box B. So he calls B's attention by one beat on the bell. Now the signalman at B normally would be alert. Uh, not having a snooze and he would respond that he's there by repetition, one beat. And the signalman politely asks, is line clear for a passenger train? Now a passenger train is three pours one, and express is four, but in this case it's three pours one. And the signalman at B, doing his job properly, checks his route is set, his points are locked, etc. and responds by three pours one, and moves the indicator to the green section, says line clear, and uh, box A, yeah, that's repeated. That's why we used to have so many wires between signal boxes. The, a, the signalman at A checks the indicator, checks the points, and pulls the signals in sequence. As Alan's showing you properly, in sequence. And the train will now start from T, Gotta watch this driver. The signalman at A watches the train approach and after it's passed its home signal, re replaces the signals to danger as a protection arrangement. And then he sends train entering section to the signalman at B, which is two beats on the bell. And the signalman at B who knows that it's coming, because he's experienced, will acknowledge by two beats, and turn his instrument to train on line, the red section. The signalman at A, as the train passes, will check that it's complete by a tail lamp. All trains have a tail lamp. Now the signalman at B has responded, he's put the instrument on line, normally be offering it to box C, as you will see later on. But the, the signalman at A checks the indicator and puts the signals back to danger as the train's cleared. And the signalman at B watches the train pass the box, just as A did, and checks the tail out to see it's, the train's still complete and it's um, not half of it. Of course, attention to A, who responds, sends two, pause one, train out of section, obstruction removed. Puts his needle to blocked line, blocked or normal, which is upright, and so they go on. And that's the sequence of absolute block one train, one line, one direction at one time. Principle of all British Rail signalling, computerised and GPS, etc. Now we're going to run the timetable when they're let free. Any questions? We love answering questions. We do have an interlocking uh, frame here to show how it works. So the computer signaling is doing exactly what they are doing, except they're not talking. They don't need cups of tea every five minutes. In fact, most of your boxes work, the, the old your box, before it took over leads, as automatic route setting, which means the trains signal themselves. The trains we use are basically for demonstration, but the, the body of the two tanks are original. Uh, the one in the case is original and works, but it's 40 volts, uh, and the museum doesn't think we should be using 40 volts. So what we've got are battery or uh, radio control uh, trains. Uh, and we can demonstrate Things which rarely ever happen nowadays, train divided, train with no tail lamp, train running away in wrong direction, train running away in right direction, uh, single line working, all the things that go up to make the uh, exam paper, a two or three hour paper. But the benefit here is if you've been to night school, as uh, I suspect many of you have, 
here you can actually see it working. You're not just working off a blackboard or reading a book. The signalman used to be paid on a matrix of marks. You've got a mark for every piece of equipment. Uh, you've got a mark for every train that stopped, every train every train that started, every train that went through. And it was always done on a Wednesday between 7 and 7. And the matrix is quite important. And uh, even as a divisional officer, I couldn't change the status of a signalman, even when they were one mark off the, the next um, range. That was the prerogative of the chief operation manager at York. 